Hey kids, welcome to the video. I got a cat on my shoulder and we're going to talk about the wing. You want to say hi Tom? Look. We're going to talk about wing design. So we're going to talk about the upright design that Ty's been working on for a hot minute and then we're going to talk about some heat exchangers and what our whole plan is because I have determined an air cooler plan so we're gonna talk about that here is roughly our wing design for VFC so we've got our front view that's how it'll look looking down the car go to our left view here at the side profile hey chief I'm talking about your wing I'm gonna kill myself why are you gonna kill yourself Five hours for nothing. Could have gone and seen Coon. I checked Snap Map. You were like right near his house. Really? Yeah, you weren't that far away. So Ty skeletonized the mounts for some added strength or agility to the upright itself, but also to reduce weight for it. We've also got our notch. Um, some of y'all might be wondering what the notch is down here. That's for our chassis mount that we're keeping that Brad made. So we had to tie to notch out the, the upright for that adjustable holes for the angle of attack here so we can pitch the wing and kind of set it at a few different um, spaces to get more angle get less angle do all that wonderfulness so trying to work this on a mag is not the most fun thing but the upright will be two piece so we're going to have our truck mount down here which is this uh this bottom piece that will bend um, we're going to cut it out of 4043 aluminum and then we will bend it to the proper shape. We've 3d printed a couple little uh, little bits to To uh, get the right angle. So we've checked those and we've got a rough idea of how it needs to be bent And then we'll do the rest of the upright Out of uh, 6061 so this whole piece will be 6061 and then we'll just either weld them together or we've we've talked about bolting them together We're still trying to figure out that part I made an X-Brace airline cable to keep the wing from uh, shifting laterally and side to side. And that worked. Ty hated it because it didn't look pretty and all that. So um, he's designing it right now to be set up for stanchions. So we can have an X-Brace with stanchions and we can easily adjust them that way. We were watching videos the other night and we had an idea. Cause Dean Kearney's Viper. And then they just had a bar. Just a big aluminum bar in between the two uprights to keep it stable. So we thought about adding that. Um, we'd have to, Ty would have to tweak the upright design a little bit for us to put a bar in here, but it could easily be done. So we might do the bar idea. We're not totally sure yet. So that's generally the rough idea for the wing. That's the whole design, what we're going to do. Now, what I want to talk about is we are working with a new aero company. So back when I originally talked about us changing the wing and we're changing the uprights and we we got into it and realized the carbon fiber wing is not the best for what we're doing. Uh, I called some friends over at Nine Lives Racing and was asking them like what we can do. And they are helping us with a 64 inch element that will go on my car. It'll be made out of aluminum. Um, we're going to run a their half inch gurney flap with it, which should give us, um, I'll find the data. So we'll be running the 64 inch wing from Nine Lives Racing. We're also gonna run their end plates, which is uh, an eight by 10 inch end plate. And then we'll also be running their half inch gurney flap. And they sent over some CFD data from their testing. Gonna have and I'll share with you guys and we'll just talk about it. So a list are basically they have broken down into drag at 60 miles an hour, downforce 60 miles an hour, drag at 100 downforce at 100 miles an hour and up to 140. So that's what we're gonna go through real quick. So we plan to run our wing at zero angle of attack. So we're gonna run at zero angle of attack, which is, uh, <clears throat> gives us 4.3 um, drag coefficient. And then we will do, so at, at that, and then we'll get 52.1 pounds of downforce um, from it and then if we go to 100 miles an hour, drags 12.1, downforce is 144. And then if we uh, if we go up to 140, drag is 200 or 24, and then um, 
our downforce is 288 uh, pounds. So nice little, <clears throat> and that's all with zero angle attack. It'll go up and it'll, it'll go up depending on what, uh, It'll go up depending on what gurney flap we decide to run and what uh, angle of attack we're going to use. But my idea is half inch gurney flap, zero angle of attack, and we should be good with that. <clears throat> but if we need more, we can always change out the gurney flap. It's pretty easy to uh, to swap out, just bolt in and out of the wing. So we're super excited to have Nine Lives Racing um, as a partner on this car with us, and we're they they've been testing with FCs for a couple of years and. Now I'm excited to join their little pool of FC testers and we'll just see how it goes. So I'm really excited for this wing. Um, I'll put some pictures, show some guys that run them. Um, Team Brap Racing runs them, which I am now a part of. So it's only fitting that I run their wing, right? So now we're on to the second part of our video, which is all about the intercooler setup. So talking to Mikey, who Mikey built the Factor X Racing NSX. I'll put a link somewhere. <laughs> Now we're on to the second part of our video, which is all about the intercooler setup. So talking to Mikey, who Mikey built the Factor X Racing NSX, I'll put a link somewhere. built that car they ran an air to water setup in it and Mikey has convinced me that air to water setup is the way to go air to water is the most efficient setup to run at the end of the day you basically get all the perks of V mount with short charge piping all that stuff we get to run a pump we can turn the pump on and off whenever we want to we can slap ice into the water box and the water tank and It'll keep a, it'll give us more consistent temps at the end of the day than air to air will. So we're running air to water. That is the move. That's what I've decided. So next is what parts are we going to use? So let me go grab some parts. We're going to be using a lot of Ford parts on this build. So we're using the OEM Cobra Bosch water pump for their setup. We are also going to most likely use a factory Cobra heat exchanger as well to go up in the front of the car. I am toying with getting something else from Frozen Boost, but right now it's going to be the Mustang. That's going to be the move. And then for the tank, we're going to... Hey, Tom. We're going to... Thomas. Thomas. Let's have a cat. Me sitting on me for this whole video. So we're going to have uh, our tank. I'm thinking we'll run about three gallons. So there's some options on eBay to buy, or we might just build our own. It kind of depends. We have John Barber at our disposal, which means fabricator, welder, all the good stuff. We're going to run a three-gallon system. That's the plan. And then when you factor in the intercooler, the heat exchanger, the lines, all that, we'll probably get another half gallon out of the system. So total estimation is three and a half gallons, which is perfect. That will be great. So we're going to hook up the water pump on a switch so we can turn it off and on whenever we want. If we're chilling in grid or in the pits, we'll have the water pump off so we're not heat soaking all of that water that's in our tank. The water is going to be the move. So now we've got to figure out exchangers and all this stuff. Mostly we're going to use factory Mustang stuff. If you guys have any Mustang parts, aka the heat exchanger that you want to get rid of, drop a comment, let me know. That'd be great. So that's how we're going to move forward. We've scrapped all the air to air ideas. Um, and we're going to try air water. We're going to do something different. We're going to see how it works. Um, everybody I know runs air to air. Um, they, they work fine, all that, but we don't have much room up front and I don't want to V mount it. I don't want to cut out all that ducting that Ty and I have put a bunch of work into and then have to redo it and make new mounts and all this for a V mount. So we're going to start with water and then if our, if we don't have enough volume, we have a lot of nice parts, tank size that core that Chris gave us in there. a bell core, which, and the people's opinions I've talked to. My opinions really matter because I don't really have an opinion. But from the people I've talked to, the builders I've talked to, uh, Bell and Garrett have the best air to water uh, cores on the market and the best air to air cores on the market too. So we have a good core. 
we have good pumps we have uh we'll have good heat exchanger i mean a factory forward busting heat exchanger which is nice and cheap so that's gonna be our setup at the end of the day <clears throat> i'm really excited for it and hopefully it should go well um i've got some good ideas about how we're gonna how we're gonna run this how we're gonna make this how we're gonna do everything so i'm excited to start building and just see what happens. thank you guys for watching this video i know it's another kind of boring theoretical just talk through video but we are doing some cool stuff we're still working even though we're not registering on the car right now we're still putting in design work we're still figuring out the process and we're still making plans for the future thank you guys for watching we'll catch y'all later bye